It's official. Breastfeeding is beneficial. And not just for babies, but mothers too. Exclusively breastfeeding a child until they are six months old helps with growth, development, and reduces the chance of illness. For mothers, breastfeeding can help prevent breast cancer and in some cases can reduce the chance of pregnancy. In Nigeria, 27% of children are exclusively breastfed. But now, the government is trying to increase that figure by implementing new guidelines for hospitals. It will not only help in improving our breastfeeding indices, but also contribute significantly to the reduction of malnutrition. But there are still calls for the government to do more. There is need to further demonstrate commitment and share responsibility towards improving, to, towards improving breastfeeding among all stakeholders. Government, donors, civil societies, groups and private sector, even including the mothers and the community as a whole. We are using this opportunity to encourage other gov uh, state governors to also um, um, uh, create an enabling environment, put policies in place that will encourage six months exclusive breastfeeding um, for lactating mothers. These mothers say they know breastfeeding is beneficial to the health of their babies, but it comes with its own challenges. The minute I had my baby, I think around around 25 minutes, I put her to breast. Even though I had um, breastfeeding challenges, I had cracked nipples, but the fact that I had it in mind, so I I was able to overcome that challenge of breast breast cracking. Um, breastfeeding is very important, and it's the first. Um, thing that the baby takes as soon as the baby is born. It contains what we call immunoglobulins that actually help to fight infection and so we say breast milk is actually the very first immunization that the baby receives. Drawbacks aside, the benefits of breastfeeding are clear and with this plan the government is aiming to ensure half of all babies are fed this way, giving them the best start in life. Punarman Fentola, Rice News.